Hello everybody. I'm making this short video, uh, it's an information video on the alternator that's fitted to the engine in my boat. Uh, I, I've got a Beta Marine 35 horsepower engine, four cylinder, and it's got an Iska alternator fitted to it. Model is AAK5395 and it's rated at 100 amps. Now, I had some worries that it may not be producing as much current as it should do. Um, I've just sailed around Britain last year uh, and the alternator was charging the batteries okay. But, uh, you know, I don't think it was actually putting out any more than 20, 30 amps maximum. Uh, maybe that was to do with the loading. Um, not being enough but I decided to strip it down and service it and replace the regulator now the regulator chip is that's the old one I put a new one in that I ordered off of eBay it's an ARE 0101 which is equivalent to the old one this old one which is an AER 1612 Anyway, I'm going to show you the video of me testing it on the bench. Um, so here goes. Okay, here's my alternator from the boat. I've replaced the uh, regulator chip in it. Um, check the diodes, they're all okay. But it's got a brand new regulator in there. Now I need to test it. I've wired it up onto a battery and I've wired the field coils via the normal ignition light. Um, back to the positive. I've also connected the earth to the uh, casing of the alternator and I've connected a wire that goes to the normal tachometer on, on the boat, the rev counter. I've gone back to my oscilloscope on here so we should be able to see what the RPM is. Now I've got an electric drill here I've made an adapter up to fit into that socket so here goes Hang on, let's test that. Okay, there's a load on there. We're coming up 12.7, three and a half amps on the current meter. Uh, bulb's gone out, and we've got over there, you can't see it, but it's saying 115 hertz frequency. Okay, well there you are. I don't know if anybody noticed that um, the output voltage got up to 13 volts at, at the end of the test and the current output was about 3.3 amps and the frequency we measured on the scope was 115 hertz. Let me show you on the graph. Um, now I've downloaded the um, PDF file for this alternator off the ISCA website. It's very informative. And if we come down to the graph at the bottom, interestingly, it shows you the curve for the output current. Now, the alternator I've got is 100 amps, so it doesn't show you for a 100 amp alternator, but it does show you for an 80 amp. And if you look on there, um, 100 amps curve would be just above the 80. But let's assume it's an 80, 80 amp uh, alternator. This is RPM against the output current. And bear in mind, we were only getting 3.5 amps out of it, which is right down here. So if we now look at the calculation for RPM, now we're going to convert the frequency we measured from the W plus output on the oscilloscope. Um, it gave a frequency of 115 hertz. Well the formula is F equals P over 2 times the RPM over 60. Obviously the 60 is converting seconds to minutes. Now notice P over 2. The number of poles is 12. Well, 
that's 12 poles but you need two poles to give you a full cycle because you've got a north and a south to give you the positive and negative of the sine wave so hence p over 2 there so yeah we transpose the formula and we get 120 times f over p which comes down to give us an rpm of 1150 um, figure that's the figure 1150 revs so if we go back to the graph and we zoom in to the graph you can see that 1150 is actually down right down here it's almost at the cutoff point so that graph there 1000 that's 1500 that's 1400 that's 1200 1100 it's round about there so we're getting about three and a half amps so that's two that's four amps three we're getting three amps so we're right down in this area here so that's why we're getting a very low current and also the voltage output hasn't picked up by this point because we're running right at the bottom of that curve so yeah there we are with that so I'm going to come back now to so yes I thought I'd share that bit of information with people because um, you know it's difficult to test an alternator on the bench you're not going to be able to spin it up really really fast I mean it needs to get up to about 3,000 4,000 rpm um, in order to produce a, a decent output so um, anyway that I'm pretty confident that that's going to uh, that's proved the point to me that that's going to work okay when I put her into the boat when I put her back in and um, bearing in mind that the RPM the gearing on the pulley wheel um, the engine is doing half the RPM to the alternator because it's a two two to one ratio on the gear on the pulley wheel so yeah um, I think that's proved the point I think that's going to work fine so time will tell and thanks for watching